He's a good boy. He's a daddy good boy. What's up, Vinny Chenzo? He's a good boy. Yeah, Vinny lost some weight. He's gonna be 10 years old. And he's lost some weight. He's a little more active. Doing pretty good for an old timer. He's a good boy. He's a warlock Doberman. In his best prime, he was 165 pounds. He was bred big. His mom was big. His dad was 165 pounds. His mom was 160 pounds. Got the pick of the litter out of Arizona. He's a gray Doberman, warlock Doberman. Ooh. On sabbatical time, all I gotta say is, hello my fellow YouTubers, this is Roy back again, after letting this place go for a three month period, it got dirty, it got disgusting, and I wouldn't even come in here, but just when you think you're out and they pull you right back in. Here we go. So a couple things I want to touch on is obviously edge wheel. Um, over here on some of Ed's writings. Mineral, vegetable, and animal life. Got cosmic force he talks about, magnetic current, mag sound base. Good old Ed himself right there. And the wheel. A couple quick little things. Let's um let's plug in. The oscilloscope. The oscilloscope come along and let's say hi to everybody. Hope you all safe. Hope you all good. Whatever you do, stay out of the fringe and you'll be fine. Let's get down to it. So I got Ed's wheel sitting here all these magnets are north south the yellow ones are the south the dark ones are the north i got a pmh over here which is two coils wound 1250 turns each and they are wired together where the two starts are connected and the two outside ends are connected and they're both wound oppositely so meaning uh, to create a, if, to create an, uh, if you were to put a, a connect the battery to this coil, it's wound counterclockwise or clockwise. And the difference is you'll produce in the iron here what you want. So basically, if this, if you put a positive here and a negative on the other side of the same cable, you can swap the poles from either being north or south, north or south. So you wind it accordingly like that as well. And what happens is it creates sort of like a, a spring effect in the electrical system. We'll get to that, okay? So I have the oscilloscope hooked up to it and I have an LED hooked up to, um, well, to the wire of the two outside ends uh, they're not connected only through the LED. So the LED is caught in the middle. So the LED should light up when we get a speed going. Uh, the magnets are uh, somewhat mediumly to low charge. I put them through some torture uh, before my sabbatical um, in regards to um, stronger magnets near them and just trying different experiments. So on this one here, we're going to start off this whole video 
with a smooth and cool calming. Let my fan just make you pull yourself in. So today's video, back off the sabbatical, is gonna start off with one of Ed's books. It's called A Book in Every Home. Um, we're just gonna start off, uh, I'll give you a, just a little, little teaser here. If you look in the book on the first, second, get you guys set up on the third page. Does something look familiar? What are we looking at? And so-called cones appear in a book in every home. A little teaser for you guys, okay? So let's get into the heartbeat. So basically we're creating a sine wave. We know that these magnets here we're all spread out north, south, north, south. So you're gonna get a pressure and then a decompression. You're gonna get pressure and then decompression. So when we go to turn, you're gonna see that ball start in a direction for starters. So if I turn this the opposite way, the ball will shoot down. When it comes out of the gate, it'll go downward and start. If, when it comes, if I turn the other way, it'll go upward and start. So that goes to show you exactly how the iron in relationship to the coils is reacting. Because there's, there's going to be a space of, of time reference in between the reaction of the coils, the copper coil and the iron to where it's going to have to swap and it, iron's resilient it doesn't really want to swap it, it it's fighting the whole thing so the coils have to deal with that so you can see how we're starting you can see the lines if you look closer to the pmh you'll see a light to start to light up have the thing um, the O scope set up to times one and it's pretty neat because you get to see you know I um, mean literally from taking these magnets and running them by this apparatus here the PMH you can see inside that PMH that is swapping directions. It's got a ebb and a flow. Now I'm gonna turn the opposite way. Let's go downward. Now you can see, I'm gonna put some speed into this. And you can see that light is lit up pretty good. And we're kind of, we're kind of going out of, not saying anything about Ed's wheels to turn fast. This is not about that. This is more about the fact of the rate of change that you impose. So the amplification of the rate of change has made the light brighter, has uh, intensified the height, which would be the voltage going up on the oscilloscope. Let's sit back and just think about that. And watch the oscope, watch the light, watch the speed dissipate in the wheel. So the rate of change is what we're kind of focusing on right now. And I want you guys to reference this rate of change. It has a lot to do with the human body. Obviously on the oscilloscope, you can see it becomes more defined you can see the peaks, the valleys, how that PMH, the iron and the copper coils 
while in opposite directions to be able to um, charge up and then discharge or should I say uh, consume electrons from the magnets and then push them out the opposite end. So there is a, a sort of a juice going through those coils right now. You can see the oscilloscope is lessening by the speed. So Ed talks about in his magnetic current writings that speed is essential. And he does talk about 2000 RPMs. Now, the fact that this wheel would go 2000 RPMs, I'd be a little nervous, but he did have a gear on the bottom of his wheel in Coral Castle, and it could have been hooked up to a chain, and you would use a hit and miss motor, and you could turn this to produce electricity in a normal fashion as we know. And in Magnetic Current, he talks about, let's, let's see where it comes from, how it reacts, and he mentions a couple major things. And one of the things that stood out that he mentioned is that um, that um, it takes magnets to make electricity. And if you think about that, the magnets, what came first, the chicken or the egg? It takes magnets to make electricity. And if you look at our universe, it's electric. Very interesting. And the fact that Ed even came out there and put himself out there and built a beautiful place, um, he does show that everything is made of, of, of um, little tiny magnets. And these magnets are like little baby swirly dipoles. And in reference, before we start the video, I, I just want to say these little dipoles to me, kind of reminiscent of making beer and using yeast. And watching, we recover the five gallon glass container um, of fermentation and you would see the yeast come alive almost like it had little minnows inside there and watching that reminiscence this whole process so sit back enjoy the video I want to not only thank the outcome of the sabbatical supersedes why doing the sabbatical and what i mean by that is that i didn't plan on the sabbatical but i was unhappy for some reason and the unhappy obviously had nothing to do with materialistic things it had to do with an myself it just i was unhappy and when i took the sabbatical the outcome position looking back at the time frame of the sabbatical i could say it's about controlling um controlling things and as i move forward with this video and we're going to start into ed's book uh the out part of this video I want you guys to pull from is the fact that every day that you open your eyeballs you are absorbing in data and that data is a magnetic field and that magnetic field gets caught up into your um, into your body and gets recorded and uh, if you don't know about it and you don't release certain energies to um, get that data um, uh, away or out of you, then it builds tension. And that's where my tension was coming from, is the fact that internally I had a lot of luggage and I had to release some. So I want to I share this video with everybody who has luggage 
leave your comments, please. Um, <clears throat> everything has its moment, and we're gonna get into it. And this is the reference that Ed Lee Scowin, a book in every home. Let's get you guys set up in my little tripod so I can be hands-free. And we're gonna turn off that noisy fan. Wait one second here. Let's get that fan off. And unplugged. A book in every home. So when you open up the book, the funny thing is you'll see a picture of um, Ed when he's pretty much ready to go to the hospital. And you'll see a picture of Ed here and it says at work. And he's got this wooden yoke, they call it. It's got a hole at the top, so it obviously hangs upside down. He's got a metal pole going down there. And he's got a metal... Um, through rod going through the top to kind of uh, stiffen it up and he's got this pole and, and there's that you can see the, how tall that pole is so he's not carrying that at all uh, I do see pictures out there where this is hanging inside of a tripod so um, I wrote Dick and Jane book not to be rude to Ed, but he left the space on the other side. And you go over here, it says a book in every home containing three subjects. Ed's Sweet 16, Domestic and Political Views by Ed Lee Scallon, published by Ed Lee Scallon, Homestead, Florida. Blank page on the other side. Here you open up the third page, you see it's copyright 1936 by Ed Lee Scallon. And it shows the two cones in reference here. And shows the ebb and flow of a sine wave, which referenced the wheel. On the right side, it says, Artist's uh, Preface. Vinny's on a tag. See, he's, he's feeling better. He can bark more. Readers, if for any reason you do not like the things I say in this little book, I left just a as much space as I use so you can write your own opinion opposite and see if you can do better. The Arthur. Well, I took Ed on for his challenge. Let's start off on page one. He talks about, to the left, is Ed's Sweet 16. To those more than 15,000 people who have seen Ed's place, I told about Ed's Sweet 16, and now we'll tell you why I did not get the girl. In Ed's place, there was a lasting fame for a girl's name, but it would be have taken money to put the fame upon her. The trouble was that I did not have the money and did not make enough. Well, he said he had 15,000 people. I wonder what he charged, a dime or a nickel or, or nothing. If they were pretty, I bet he let them in. That was the reason why I could not get a girl. Now, I am going to tell you that what I mean when I say Ed Sweet 16. I didn't mean a 16-year-old girl. I mean a brand new one. If it had meant a 16-year-old girl, it would have meant at the, at the same time that I made money for 16, for my Sweet 16. She was making love with a fresh boy. I will furnish all the love making to my girl. She will never have to seek any from anybody else for that, I believe. And then I wrote on the side here, we're going to start off with the human body and we're going to talk about the body's voltage and we are referencing off the left side. So let's just, let me fill in my space. The body's voltage system. The body has four battery packs. Our muscles are piezoelectric, rechargeable. 
battery packs. It's F A C F A S C I A, but I'm going to pronounce it as fascia. You might pronounce it differently, but you know what I'm talking about because I spelled it. Around the muscles, the fascia around the muscles, this is in our body, serves as the body's wiring system. And what I mean by wiring system, I just showed you how that in the PMH, by putting a positive and negative charge and making the um, charge in the apparatus itself, the PMH, to uh, actually turn around and do the opposite is what we're referencing right here when the um, fascia around the muscles serves as the body's wiring system. It's allowing the charge to uh, flip back and forth. Our cells' membranes are small batteries called capacitors. More capillaries, but I capacitors. Inside the microchondria, we have a rechargeable battery system. Our DNA, the important stuff I want to tell you guys, is our DNA, this is all based on my sabbatical studies plus previous studies all combined together. This is what is this book been read from. Inside the DNA, it has its own battery using scalar, scalar waves. And with scalar waves, um, here's where we're going to bring in our buddy Tesla. And the reason we bring in Tesla is because he is the scalar wave master. So let's go back to Ed again. Is not a boy for, or a man in this world good enough to be around? There's not a boy or girl good enough to be around my girl. And I believe that the other men also ought to have enough self-respect so they would think that I am not good enough to be around theirs. Anything that we do leaves its effect. Now remember that as a highlight. It leaves its effect. Whatever you do, when you're conscious, it is a magnetic footprint. It leaves an effect. Upon a girl that it does upon a boy or a man because a girl's mind, body, mind, and all our constitution consider constitution 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 yeah, is more tender and so it leaves more an impressive and why should one want to be around anybody else's impressions so he's talking about the impressions that are made from that magnetic field from yourself and myself and everybody else who comes across anybody else or has a reaction or, or, or a interaction with a dog, animal, or something that is conscious. Cool stuff. You ready? A girl is to is to a fellow the best thing in the world, but have but to have best one secondhand is humiliating. Humiliating. All girls uh, below sixteen should be brand new, meaning I guess maybe he's talking about a virgin, but. If a girl below 16 cannot be called brand new anymore, it is not the girl's fault. The mama is to blame. It is the mama's duty to supervise the girl to keep the fresh boys away. In case a girl... Okay, good luck with that. In, in case of a girl's mama thinks that there is a boy somewhere you, who needs experience... So I wrote, in, in order to the next free page, is chronic disease. Now remember, everything sticks to you. Chronic disease occurs in the human body when you lose the ability to make new cells that work. Cells that are designed to run about between 7.35 to 7.45 pH. What is pH? In chemistry, pH is a larger rhythmic scale used to specify the acidity of, a, of a, a solution. Let's go back to Ed. 
Then she herself could pose as an experimental station for a fresh boy to practice and to save the girl. Nothing can hurt her anymore. She has already gone to all the experiences can be done, and so far in her case, it would be all right. But the blame is not to rest on the mama alone. The schools and the churches and are cheapening the girls. They are arranging picnics and coupling up girls with fresh boys, and they are sending them out in the woods, parks, be uh, beaches, and other places so they can practice in first-degree lovemaking. Now, I will tell you what the first degree of lovemaking is. First degree of lovemaking is when you, have a, when you are a fresh boy to begin to soil the girl by patting, patting, P-A-T-T-I-N-G, rubbing and squeezing her. They start at if it was way too soon, begin to get dull. And then when no kick is in it, they have to start it on a second degree and keep up and then by, then, then by, and by when. So obviously we're, he's talking about people who have to take it to first base, second base, third base. There's my side. pH is a measure of hydrogen ion. Concentration of hydrogen ions have a low pH. The solutions with a low concentration of high plus ions have a high pH. A solution that has the ability to be a electron donor or electron stealer, like a battery, car battery, 7.35 pH is the same as a minus 20 millivolt electron donor. Listen to me, really good guys, it gets good here. 7.45 pH is the same as a 25 millivolt electron donor. 25 millivolts for for producing healthy cells. 50 millivolts needed to rebuild a new cell. Then the cell, if the cell doesn't have its charge, then it flips its poles. Remember this. This is this is getting real good here in this book. Thank you, Ed. So to the left, Ed says the right man comes along, and when he touches the girl, he touches her like dead flesh. Gets being married for a long time kind of reminds me of the dead flesh. Not saying I'm I'm there, but I'm just saying in general, I come across a lot of friends who've been married, and after a long time, there's not a lot of sex, there's not a lot of tension there. And you might as well call it dead flesh, even though it's not because somebody else will knock the boots off that bitch. Anyway, there is more response in it. All the response has worked its way out of the fresh boys. Why should it be that way? Everything we do for some good purpose, but everybody knows that there is nothing good can be come from a girl from a fresh boy. When a girl is 16 or 17 years old, she has, she is as good as ever will be for the boy as 16 years old by the fresher than all the stages of the development. He is not the big enough to work, but he is too big to keep in a nursery and then allows such a fresh thing to soil the girl. It could not work on the girl. Now I will tell you about soiling. Anything that is done, it is, it, it, if it is with the right party, it is all right. But when it is with the wrong party, it is soiling and concerning about fresh boys with girls and it's wrong every time. And here we go. New cells chart. Turn over time. So we're talking about our body cells and uh, when they're damaged or, or their natural process of, of when they turn over. So they, they die off. All your cells in your body, pretty much, most of them die off. And then here's the time frame. So we're gonna start off with number one. I put a lot of work in this. Small intestine is two to four days. So in two to four days, you're building new small intestine cells. Stomach, two to nine days. Blood, one to five days. White blood cells, two to five days. 
gastrointestinal colon, three to four days, making new cells. So think about how important this is to keep, keep your healthy body, keep, have your body reproduce in healthy cells. Your cervix, six to six days. Lungs, eight days. Tongue, taste buds, 10 days. Palates, two, two weeks. Bone, no, palates, 10 days. Bone, two weeks. Intestine, 20 days. Intestine, P-A-N-E-T-H. Skin, 10 to 30 days. Blood cells, 4.4 weeks. Remember that, blood cells, 4.4 weeks, especially if you have cancer. Um, T-R-A-C-H-E-A, -E one to two months. Sperm, two months. Let's go in Ed now. Now that you can find out that I am right, Pick only the girl that you want, but do not do it before she has anything to do with any other body. As soon as it begins a couple of herself with somebody, you watch every time, every day, and someday, you will see that the other girl have with a red face. One's red face is a, is, is a window for the other girl to look it at on uh, when it turns red, it shows that there is something done that her moral conscience told her should not have done. It is shocking to imagine someone else produce the red face on, to my girl. In, in such a case, she could not have the 100% sweet. As soon as a girl acquires experience and sweetness begins to leave her, Right away, the first experience in everything and most impressive, it should be reserved to the permanent partner unless that a new experience is left. The cheaper the affair will, will be. That is the reason why I want a girl the way Mother Nature puts her out. Let's go back to Mother Nature, humans. So you got your uh, hypopodic stem cells, two, two months, Bone, three months. So that's why you're in a cast for three months. <laughs> that's funny. Red blood cells, four months. Liver, um, half a year. For, uh, fat cells, eight years. Uh, central nervous system, lifetime. Hmm. Skeleton. Um... Wow, that's hard to read. It says uh, skeleton, 104 per year. I don't know. I got to get into that and see why I wrote that. Lens cells, lifetime is your vision. Lens cells. So voltage in your body. The lower the voltage your body is, the less oxygen moving through your body stream. The amount of oxygen, oxygen, will dissolve in water. Let's go back to Ed now. Ed talks about means before anybody has any chance to be around her or beautiful, she begins to misrepresent herself. I want to pick out the girl while she's guided in a in instinct alone. When I started out doing this, uh, I would make it possible for me to get a girl. I set a rule to my behavior to follow. The Sweet 16 had a beginner and likable girl and the mild deposition I had to be deserving of her, everything. Everybody's Sweet 16 should be so high in one's estimization, est estimization that no temptation could induce one to act beyond her back. I always wanted a girl, but never wanted, never had one. The reason why I never knew it would produce several conditions and leave their effects, but I did not want any effects from past experience left to me, left on me and my sweet 16. A girl will recognize, or a girl will economize, so go hungry and endure 
other hardships before they will put on another girl's dress to wear. Now we go to my side. So we stopped, I guess, because it continues. So we left off on um, the amount of oxygen that will dissolve in water is detected by voltage. Our body, here's my boy Tesla, has invented the resonant circuit. And that's what's in the body, the human body, which is a coil and a capacitor. Our body is a resonant circuit. Lungs are connected to the large intestine. The heart are connected to the small intestine. The spleen The spleen connected to the stomach, the kidneys connected to the bladder, the liver is connected to the bladder, the glow bladder. Let's see what Ed says here. Gunny sacks, on before I will never have a man's clothes and I only step from one other fellow's girl to another girl fellow. Having such a case present possessor would have to clean up the past effects. Now you see to clean up the other person's leaving, it is humiliating. And so it would cheap out the undesirable affair. I want 100 per cent good and none. That is why I was so successful in resisting the natural urge for lovemaking. Resisting is a key word here. Now about sweet 16, the girl can be 100% sweet and the other no more. To illustrate, suppose we are two men and a girl together somewhere in some one else would ask if she is sweet and we both would say she is sweet but let her act very friendly with other fellow and then if someone should ask if she was sweet, I would say she is not. Now you see her friendly action with other fellow produce a charge in me. There you go. Emotions. Your emotions travel through your body as a magnetic field and gets caught up in your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Gets caught up in your teeth. Produce a change in any other normal man. We also strive for perfection. We are only one half of perfect. Whole man is a bigger and stronger half and a woman is the other. To be perfect, there must be two. But where there are two, there is no room for more. So a third party is left to go somewhere else for sour feelings. Our normal male is always ready to strive for perfection. Family is not. It is not the only with human beings. It is the same with every living thing. I and mean, if you watch a flock of chickens where there is a rooster and, there, and if you add another rooster, you will see the fight to death. Only one will have to go or be killed is the same thing with other living things. Lower forms of life are guided by instinct alone and, re and present only comes into consideration. As soon as the other male is chased away, the male is good as ever was. But with us, it is a different. We are guided more by reason and thought. On my side, efficiency of metabolism is controlled by oxygen, which is controlled by voltage. Spleen stomach circuit. Let's start off with the spleen stomach circuit. The spleen stomach circuit supplies 20, minus 25 millivolts needed for all organs on that circuit to work. And also minus 50 millivolts needed to make new cells to keep organs repaired. The circuit su supplies the voltage for the entire reproduction system. The entire endocrine system, induction system, 
the thinking part of the brain and the mulca of the eye, M-A-C-U-L-A, -A, of the eye. So they're on all the time. Let's see what Ed says. Then by instinct, the so present, past, future come into consideration. Now, if it was good today, it would be good yesterday, and it would be good tomorrow. So that is why I experienced a girl cannot be 100% sweet. According to the observation, the girl are wrong in looking in their permanent partners. They are too quick. By being too quick, you only get the fellows with quick emotions. All quick emotions are irresponsible and short-lasting. There are two kinds of love, sensual and, sensual and sentimental. Sensual love as present a little further future on. The sens sentimental, sentimental love has the present, past, and future is more desirable. It will be slower, but it will be longer. Now, girls, when any fellow jumps quickly at you, sorry about that, jumps quickly at you, you had better kept away from him. It is acting wrongly selfish, and there is no consideration for the action to do any good to you. You are weakest side. Let's go to my side. When the battery pack cannot hold the charge, you have chronic illness in one of more of your organs. Stomach meridia circuits. The spleen circuit connects to the stomach circuit. The stomach circuit provides power too. Thinking and motor parts of the brain. The macular and cornea of the eyes, the thyroid and pathroids, the breast, the stomach, the male genitalia, the front knees, back down to the big toe. Ed says, should have a better deal, and if you don't go get a better deal, then there is little brute in him, and it may be very hard to train him out of it. The fellow who makes an advance towards you, if he won't state the eventual purpose, will he? He is not a gentleman. All men should have the girl's primary purpose to find a permanent partner while they are young. These fellows who fail to see this are not desirable to be around. Girls have girls below 16 should not all allow should not allow the associate with boys that are practicing lovemaking. Such the thing could be discouraging. Lovemaking should be reserved for their part, permanent partner, which every lovemaking affair their hearts get bruised and by the time they grow up their heart are so bru badly bruised that they are no longer good. Boys and girls start out as friends and friends are as disappointed lovers and let them tell you male and female are never friends. Bugs is what I write in the side of that one. The body contains about one trillion bugs. They are suppressed by oxygen. Most are, most are cell wall deficient. So your immune system can't see them. And they don't even know that they're there. So they don't cause a fever. And a change in the blood profile. Or your system would kick in. When oxygen levels drop, they wake up and waste no time to go to lunch. Let's go to Ed now. Friend will not want anything from a friend. But a boy or girl, one or another, sooner or later, will ask for a little kiss. So they are not friends, they're just lovers. Let's see what happens when they are selecting their partners. They are young. Selecting their partners uh, count for a good looks. Liking a good uh, looks remain. But good looks 
change as they change as much as 10 years that you would not recognize if you had not seen them and then. And the boy gets best deal almost every time. By the time they are grown up, the girls will f fade it so much that the fellow would not want her or or her anymore so then. The girl who associates with a fellow only five years older is headed for a bad disappointment. These are all could be avoided by the right kind of education. Now a few words about education. You know we receive an education in the schools from books. All the books that, he says, we'll go to my side. Muscle battery packs. We have six of these loops of our muscle battery. Packs that provide the ongoing voltage for all the organs to work and repair themselves. When you have a chronic disease, you must ask two questions. And that's what we're gonna name this video. Ask yourself two questions. What is the power supply to the malfunctioning organ? And why won't the battery pack hold a charge? There's the main two questions. Leave your comments. Let's go back to Ed. People, because became educated from 25 years ago, are wrong now. That they are good now, will wrong again 25 years from now. So if are wrong then, they are wrong now. And one who is educated from a wrong books is not educated, he is misled. All books that are written are wrong. One is not educated, cannot write a book, and one who is educated is really not educated, but he is misled. And then the one who is misled cannot write a book, which is correct. The misleading began when our distant ancestors began to teach their descendants who know they knew nothing but they passed their knowledge to nothing to coming generations and when it so in sin in, 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 in nonsensically that nobody noticed it that that is why they're not educated now we'll, we'll tell you what education is according to my reasoning. To educate person is the one whose senses are refined, are born in brutes, we remain to die as. My side goes in the, we're looking at the back of the body and these are the points in the back of your body that what charge they are and what part of the your system they are controlling. So here's your your gallbladder, and it's the upper back part of the neck. That side's a positive, that side's a negative. Here's your lung, your lungs, and they are um, a neutral on this side, a positive on that side, or negative on that side, and a positive on that side. These are the pressure points, or I'm just gonna say the points of what you would charge your body, how you would repair that part of your body. The next one would be your spleen. And in that section right there, right above your hips, you'll see that's a positive side, that's a negative side. Your kidneys right below that, more right at your hips. Here is your uh, negative side, here's your positive side, your kidneys. It says connections in the back of the body. Voltage, from the muscle batteries go to the lateral terminals, the positive and negative circles or circuits, and then to the main cable that goes around the center of your back. So basically we're talking about your spinal cord. Let's go back to Ed. So Ed says, same if we do not become published or polished, but all senses do not take polish. Some are of course, to take it. The main base of education is one self-respect. 
The one lacking self-respect cannot be educated. The main basis of self-respect and willingness to learn to do only the things that are good and right, to believe only the things that we cannot be proved, to possess appreciation and self-control. Now, if you lack willingness to learn and will remain as a brute, I guess like a caveman, if you do not, if you do things that are not good and right, you will be a low person. And if you believe in things that cannot be proved and freeable minded person, you can, can you lead? And if you, if you lack a appreciation, it takes away incentive for good doing. If you lack self-control, you will never know the limit. So those lacking the characteristics in making their makeup are not educated. My side is the inward part. If you're in the front looking in and the positive and negative is for your large intestines. Your small intestines are right there for your positive and negative. Your liver is positive and negative. Your stomach is negative on that side. And your positive is on that side. And then your negative and positive on your bladder. And it says uh, connections in the front of the body. Let's go back to Ed. Domestic. The foundations of our physical and mental behavior is laid out while we are in infancy, so responsibility to our shortcomings rests upon our mothers and fathers, but mainly upon our mothers. Today, I myself would be a better than I am in my mother and father had known how to raise me, and the same is true for almost everybody else. At the first contraction in any part of your body, you will never notice any mark, but keep it up and someday you will see erase and it will be permanent. We all want to look and act the best we know how, but we cannot learn from ourselves if we have to learn from others. In my 30 years of studying conditions and their effects, I have come to a conclusion that I can tell pointers to people that would be a good help to them. That is why I wrote this book. Tesla Resonant Circuit. Your teeth act like a circuit breaker. I know you guys heard me say this, but here it goes. If you have an infection in one of your teeth, that tooth will lower the voltage, go into its circuit, and sometimes switch off if not attended to. Your upper molars and lower premolars are going to affect the spleen stomach circuit. Let's go to Ed. The accomplishment, good results, and mothers will keep good watch on their darlings until they acquire natural ambition to shine. The girls should more carefully watch than the boys because the girls are, girls' looks are the best asset should be cultivated. Don't rise the girls too big by overfeeding them and to curve their neglect. People who want to shine always have a res restraint themselves because they don't do their actions, won't be grateful. Even when the ones look at one, if the abandons restraint, the performance won't be good. If it is more likely to be the person himself won't notice, but others will. The first thing I notice is that other people is, is that something's wrong. And if it could be improved, then the same must be true about other people noticing defects and neglects, correct those ne neglects, somebody will have to point them out, but do it directly, will not do because. On my side, scalar waves. 
Tesla created the resonant circuit in which scalar waves are, or longitudinal waves. Because our DNA cells are golden mean, they implode 1.6.8 times their height. Scalar waves implodes into center of a DNA to energize it. DNA battery. Ed says they would they would think you are mean. And if that would I would want to point out defects and neglects this book. Most striking neglects that comes to attention is when one is smiling. A smile is always pleasing if it regulated, but without restraint, it is not good. When smiling, the teeth only should be shown. As soon as you show the gums, it spoils the good effect. When showing the gums, you are doing triple harm. First, the gums never look good. Second, they are making two big creases in one side of your mouth. Third, the, your lips come to wide open, especially a girl. Be careful not to show an uh, abnormally big mouth. Girls should <laughs> do, not, do nothing with would impair their best looks. I have seen moving picture stars, public singers, and others, their mouths open so wide that you could put a person lacks refinement. But if they knew that how bad it looks, they would train it. No doubt, they have practiced before. Your muscles. Your muscles are rechargeable. They are piezoelectric batteries. They are stacked one on top of the other, like batteries, in a flashlight to form a battery pack. Each organ has its own battery pack. A looking glass, but a looking glass does not show such enormous openings because while they are looking into the glass, the under restraint so really so don't have to, don't know how it looks while they are not watching themselves in a looking glass. You will never notice all your neglects and defects. They have to be pointed out by somebody else. It is painful to hear other people pointing out neglects and defects, so you entrust your friends to do it. Your friends may not always be your friends. Your best way is to leave that your own family. Your mother and father will do nothing to embarrass you. Your mother will do it better than it should be stated, started while one is still a baby. The first thing mothers should do is to watch baby's mouth so it is not hanging out. The mouth is hanging open, stretches and upper lips and will kept, when kept open while growing, this is fully grown, whatever. The fascia, I call it fascia, F-A-C-I-A. It's like a stocking around our muscles. Fascia is substance like a semiconductor in between our muscles, so our energy only moves in one way. You should ask yourself, why don't the battery pack hold a charge? We're gonna leave it there. Leave your comments.